Hello and welcome to another episode of The Average EV. Today we're going to be checking out scheduling, charging, and everything about charging the ID4 at home and at work. Let's get into it. All right, so someone asked for this and I'm bringing it to you all. Hopefully this will help you out. Um, I'm out of the car right now because it's a little dark with the video on me. Uh, so you all aren't like looking at shadows, but basically uh, they just asked about, um, I plugged my car in, uh, I had set up the scheduling and it was s charging still. S why is it doing that? So basically I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna show everything about charging the ID4 and then hopefully that will clear up any questions people might have. And if you still have questions, just leave them down below and I'll be able to help you all out. Let's go in the ID4 and check out charging. All right, everybody, welcome inside the ID4. Here is the charging screen that I'm sure you're very familiar with. Just in case you forgot how to get there, hit the waffle, click on charging, and there it is. So it shows our range, our state of charge, uh, what we have our charge limit set up to. Right now I have it set up to 80, but I've actually been doing 70 lately because I've read some things that shows that 70% might be better for longevity of the battery then it shows charging 19 miles each hour which i don't necessarily like but i do like 5.5 kilowatts so i know that that's the charge speed i'm getting which is what i should be getting lastly it has the time it suspects it'll finish charging which is in about you know two hours or so 12 26. so there is that and if you would need to stop charging you can click right there before i go to the meat and potatoes of this video. I do want to show these settings as well. Battery care mode, which will just basically, um, your car will charge you 80%. If you were to set it above for like a long road trip, uh, it'll let you charge up above 80%, but then after that charge session, it'll lower the limit back down to 80%. Reduce AC charging current is important. Um, Maybe, and I don't highly recommend, but maybe you're using an adapter for a 40 amp charger to go into a 30 amp socket, like uh, like a, a washer, uh, uh, sorry, dryer. And that's fine, but what happens is that 40 amp charger is gonna ask for everything uh, that outlet can give. So it's gonna give 30 amps, and really you should only be drawing 24 amps uh, from a 30 amp socket. Uh, so that could overload your circuit and cause a whole bunch of issues for you. So uh, if that's your situation, you might want to start reducing your AC charging current. Yes, it's going to take longer, but it's also going to prevent any kind of damage to your outlet, your car, your cable, or even your house. And then lastly, unlock AC charging connector automatically. Uh, that basically, uh, once your car finishes charging, it'll unlock it so you can take it out. Uh, if you have your car somewhere where it's outside and someone could access your charger i would probably leave that turned off that way your charger stays locked in and safe so let's get into the meat and potatoes of this episode uh here we have save charging locations this is where you can set up uh schedules and stuff like that so if you wanted to set up a schedule you click here you name it whatever you want i'll call this home another one might be work for some people and this is what you get so at the top, it says reduce AC charging current, unlock AC charging connector automatically, which we just talked about both of those things. So set that as you will. Um, I'm going to leave it on this because it's in our garage and it makes things easier in the morning for my wife. So here we'll turn this. You can set your schedule however you like here by clicking this arrow. Set the days, set the time, whatever you'd like to do. Change it to a one time thing, a repeat, whatever floats your boat. And you can do this for multiple days, set up multiple schedules. The next thing we're gonna talk about is direct charging and charge two. So direct charging basically is, say you arrive at your house with 10% state of charge. When you plug in and have the schedule set on, it'll automatically charge up to what you have it set to. Um, why is this important? You don't wanna leave your battery at a low state of charge. So I would recommend between 40 and 50%. Um, so it immediately gets there right away then you can set your charge too. This is gonna be the max state of charge you have. It is probably ideal to have it set where it arrives at the max state of charge right when you're going to leave. It's probably a little bit healthier for your battery, but if you just wanted to charge up immediately, that is fine. It's not the end of the world and your car is gonna be fine. So what I'll do is I'll set this to 50%. 
and I'll set this to 80%. There is that. And then lastly, we've got preferred times. This is if you maybe have special uh, rates with your utility uh, on electricity at certain times, usually in the evening to help with the grid management. So uh, here we've got uh, tw uh, 22, sorry, my brain's not working, 10 o'clock to six in the morning. So I'll set that. That seems like a pretty common um, special utility rate time. So there is that. If you want to see what's in there, it's just that. So that is it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the charging screen and you're going to notice it looks a little bit different now. So it has your direct charging to 50%. I'm above 50% right now. So um, if I were to plug in and had things set, it might actually show I'm not charging, but that's fine. And then here we can see immediate charging that wasn't there before. So this hopefully is the solution to um, some people's questions. Sorry about that with the camera. Some people's questions about why is my car still charging? You might still have it set to immediate charging. So all you wanna do is turn it to charging until departure time and notice how the charging stopped. Now what will happen is the car will start charging at the exact time it knows it needs uh, so that it will finish charging right at 7 a.m. You have some other settings in here as well. You can do charging slash climate control until depart. So you can set your climate control uh, to whatever you'd want. So it cools off your cabin, which is really nice, especially in the summer and in the winter. It's really nice all the time. And then lastly, charging at preferred times. You check that it will not charge at all until the times that were set. And that will be for 50 to 80%. Um, so say you have the special utility rates, but you get home at like, I don't know, 3 p.m and you're at 10%, your car will automatically charge up to 50%, then it will pause, and then at 10 o'clock, it'll start charging again until six. Uh, hopefully it'll complete by then, but if it doesn't, um, you know, you might need to adjust some things in your scheduling. So honestly, everybody, that's pretty much it with the settings in here. Uh, again, notice how on there it's zero, and as soon as I go back to immediate charging, it starts charging again. There it is. All right, so hopefully you all found that video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I do answer and I love helping people out. So again, thanks for watching. Please leave a like, a subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you all next time.